All right, how fun was that? This should be an exciting day. We're here to talk about Hedera 22 Hackathon, what's gonna end up being the largest hackathon that Hedera has ever seen. We have you know, hundreds of developers already getting started in our Discord, forming teams as we speak. We have hundreds of thousands of dollars worth in prizes available and up for grabs, and a lot of different sponsors and challenges available for you to participate in. With me today is Ed Head. Hey, Gary. Hi, everyone. Super excited to be here today. So Ed's with me today. I'm Gary. We're a part of the developer relations team at Hedera, and we're here to make sure your hackathon is as successful as possible. So let's go through and talk about some of the resources that we have available, the different challenges and sponsors, and last but not least, the prizes that you might be able to win. Ed, when it comes to smart contracts, what are you most excited about? That's a good question, Gary. Smart contracts offer developers the ability to go after very compelling use cases in the areas of DeFi, NFTs, and all kinds of marketplaces. And seeing those things being built on Hedera is really exciting for me. And I also think that this smart contracts hackathon is a huge driving force you know, for the ecosystem to build utilities and tools that will serve developers and ultimately uh, make their jobs easier. So overall, I'm pretty excited you know, uh, about this process and seeing the outcome that may come out of it. Me too. And I can't wait to see the types of applications that end up being built and the pitches that we'll have at the end. A uh, lot to look forward to. Um, so if you're new to Hedera or new to Solidity contracts, Ed, what would you recommend people getting started with and some resources we have available to them? Well, of course. The first resource I want to show is how to create a Hedera testnet developer account. So if you do a web search for Hedera portal, you go to that first result this is the portal that you will see. And here's where you can create a mainnet or a testnet account. For the hackathon, the testnet account is gonna be crucial. And so this is an account for testing purposes that replenishes itself with 10,000 test HBAR every day for you to play and try and test as you build your application. So that is the first resource. Again, going to the Hedera portal and opening that testnet account. The second resource I want to show you is the dev post page for the hackathon. And here you will find a lot of information about the duration, the prices, the registration, and much more. And what I wanna show you here is this resources tab where you can get information that you may need as a developer to get started or to get unstuck as you build your application. So you'll find quick start guides for setting up your environment. You'll find documentation about the SDKs and APIs for actual implementation. Also core concepts you know, for the different Hedera services. And we also have linked tutorials and examples in the form of articles, blogs, and videos that will help you as you implement. And finally, some developer resources for things like mirror nodes, network explorers, and a lot more. So this is the dev post page. In addition to that, we're also gonna have uh, AMA sessions. Those are ask me anything sessions where you can ask us questions uh, to help you move forward as you build. We can have workshops, uh, about the topics that you think may be most important or relevant. And we also have a Discord where you can join technical discussions that the community and the developers are having and also different teams. And Gary, can you tell us more about what people can find in this Discord and also about the weekly quests? That sounds kind of fun. Absolutely, and they're gonna be a ton of fun. Before we get to that though, definitely recommend you jump into our Discord, which you can find at hedera.com slash Discord. And there you're gonna see a thousands of developers actively participating and hopefully offering some kind support as well. Uh, you'll also see a list of Hedera Hackathon sponsor channels that'll make sure you can connect with those different people that are providing the challenges and get to know them a little bit more and what they're looking for, if you're implementing the thing the right way, you know, all those good questions that can help you have a successful hackathon. In addition to that, Ed, you're right, we're gonna have some fun too. Uh, with us, we have Taskbar, who's one of the dApps that is available on Hedera, a task marketplace. Uh, and they're gonna help us support uh, a few different fun items that'll help you win a little bit of HBAR, maybe some swag even uh, through different weekly prizes and quests. Um, so this might be, you know, everything from deploying your first contract, uh, to you know, having the best team name or logo, just as an idea. So I hope your MS Paint skills are pretty good, Ed. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Awesome. My money's on you all the way. Um, and so when it comes to these challenges and sponsors, we have a really good lineup here you can see um, that are really making this all possible. And I like this because it gives us a good indication of the Hedera ecosystem and what we're all about. We have this great mix of enterprises and council members from Avery Dennison, 
uh, in Toco. Uh, but then you'll also see, you know, applications like Galaxy and open source projects, uh, a good, you know, indication of just where we are within smart contracts and their importance within the Hedera ecosystem. So it's a really exciting time to start to be building on this um, and start to get to be, you know, early when it comes to learning about Hedera. Now, what you've all been waiting for is the challenges. So we have a few different categories of challenges available for you. So when you're thinking about your challenges, you wanna pick and choose you know, as many that make sense for your application uh, and to participate in. There's no limit for your project. So keep that in mind as we're going through here and be strategic about the different ways that you're incorporating the narratives and the technology that you'll see uh, within your project. To start, we have our ecosystem challenges. Uh, so this is a collection of tools that are made possible and really supporting the smart contract ecosystem on Hedera. And note, these don't all you know, use smart contracts directly, but may make them easier to use and adopt, like our browser extension challenge by Has Hashport. We also have Headstarter, who's looking to support communities, uh, such as NFTs or DAOs that want to have more engagement with their Discord, maybe verified tokens is just one example use case. Um, so check that one out. And you'll notice that some of these have uh, rewards both in US dollars or HBAR uh, in different opportunities, whether that's interviewing with a project, mentorship, or swag. Um, so decide and look at that as you're considering which is the right challenge for you. We also have a login library by Hashpack. That team is looking to use the open source Hash Connect offering to create a Wallet Connect-like solution that'll make it easier for any developer and user to eventually authenticate into these applications. Um, On-ramps are an interesting area for GSR. Smart contract tools making it easier to deploy contracts will be sponsored by BCW. And Women in Web3 is a great one that we're doing by the HBAR Foundation um, and a large prize here for teams that are at least a, a majority women. Um, so exciting to see that happen and you know, grab your friends and be able to participate there. Next, we're gonna talk about DeFi challenges with Ed. Ed? Yes, Garrick. And before I get into the challenges, I love the point that you're making about people being able to tell a compelling story and grabbing different elements from these challenges to build you know, a very solid application in the end. Now, coming back to DeFi, we have three challenges being sponsored. The first one is a DeFi NFT challenge being sponsored by Suku. And what they're looking for is they're looking for developers to launch a DeFi protocol that uses the Hedera token service to interact with fungible and non-fungible tokens. Pretty exciting prices for first, second, and third place there. The second challenge in this DeFi category is being sponsored by Galaxy. And this is a DeFi primitive challenge. So what they're looking for is a team that builds the best money Lego that can be reused by other teams, uh, you know, as a DeFi component. So very exciting challenge there. And the third challenge in the DeFi category is being sponsored by Google. And this is looking to bring DeFi into the enterprise world. So again, also very interesting and exciting prices there. The second category of challenges that I want to cover relate to technology. And the first one here is being sponsored by Filecoin. They're looking for the best implementation of IPFS for content addressing or decentralized storage. So a very interesting one to integrate into your application. And the second one here is sponsored by Circle. And they're looking for integrations with USDC. USDC is a stable coin that facilitates uh, payments. And so that could be a very interesting component to integrate into your application. So you could think about pursuing this challenge and very exciting prices here as well, both in HBAR and different uh, tokens. Uh, Garrick, can you tell us more about other challenges? Yeah, sure thing, Ed. And it's neat to see those great technologies being used and put to use within different verticals or use cases. So this challenge is all about the narrative that you're adding to your story, uh, whether you're supporting legal contracts, which is what DLA Piper's TOCO project is looking for, a social good solution brought to you by the Hedera team, maybe sustainability by Avery Dennison. Uh, maybe it's a, a carbon offsetting token and, and protocol, for instance. Uh, then what I'm particularly interested in is DAO accounting, um, you know, making it possible to see transparent funding a little bit more and the use of that funding, uh, which is brought to us by UCL, UCL. Uh, quite a big prize pool with these last few. And then Metaverse, uh, which we're all excited for and think has a ton of potential, is brought to us by the HBAR Foundation. Um, again, a good opportunity to mix in some of those NFTs, mix in the uh, IPFS storage, whatever it might be, to really build a really compelling use case 
um, and category of challenges that you're participating in to take home the most prizes. And lastly, we'd be remiss not to talk about our grand prizes, which is what I think you're all here for, actually, if we're being honest. We have three grand prizes up for grabs, and these can be across any of those challenges we spoke about before, too. Um, so you can win both those challenges and also take home these grand prizes. And grand means large, in case you didn't know. And we have some large prizes up for grabs, thanks to the HBAR Foundation. So in third place, Ed, we get 50000 US dollars worth in HBAR. Wow. Wow, Not that's pretty solid. Time. That's right. That's a, a couple of weeks of work right there for you. In second place, we got to up the prizes here a little bit, 100000 US dollars, again, in HBAR. Um, not a bad payday. That is a great day. That would be a great day. <laughs> and first place, I don't think you're eligible, Ed, but $150,000 in HBAR. Look at that. Up for That's grabs. Awesome. Um, so, you know, we can't wait to see any of these projects that you're starting to build and think about Along the way, we're gonna help you in terms of getting the technology right, the narrative right, to tell a really compelling story to the judges. Um, so it should be a ton of fun. And when we speak about judges, there's no one bigger in here than the HBAR Foundation's Don, who's gonna share a little bit more about what their direction is for Hedera. Thanks so much, Garrig. We are so excited to see what comes out of the Metaverse Challenge in particular. Great to talk with you all today. My name is Don Tebow. I'm one of the co-founders and chief strategy officer for the HBAR Foundation. Our organization really is here as a resource for the community to provide the financial, technical, and marketing support that can help you get off the ground faster and reach market faster. We're very excited to be sponsors of the Hedera Hackathon, really focused on smart contracts this year, uh, working with many of our sponsors to also provide the funding for different prizes and incentives around the different challenges. But as we kick off this hackathon, I both wanted to share some reasons why I'm so excited about the momentum we're seeing in the ecosystem and what really makes a good progress project from our perspective and what we're hoping to see from many of those building in the hackathon. So first, from a momentum perspective, this year has gotten off to an incredibly fast start. We've seen the likes of community projects building incredibly powerful developer tools like Galaxy and Hashpack, in addition to reaching new retail audiences. We've seen more brands enter the space like Ubisoft focused on gaming in the Web3 space. And we've also seen a number of projects in the sustainability space looking to help build new efficient markets for trading renewable energy assets, leveraging distributed ledger technology. I can say with certainty that we are seeing every day more brands, more investors, more developers, and more projects come to the ecosystem. And it's incredibly exciting to see how that will lead to more innovation and more growth of our ecosystem. But on that note, I want to also share when we look at projects, what we really see as particularly compelling or exciting for those projects. And really, it comes down to how projects can leverage two core innovations of Web3 to enable disruption of whatever it is they're trying to build. And that is how to disrupt incentives and community. So first, from an incentive perspective, tokenization, whether used in a DeFi application or in a layer one protocol, is a model by which participants can be incented to participate in an ecosystem, contributing their capital as total value locked in a decentralized exchange, contributing their attention to a musician or to a social influencer which they support, but in a way that not only is valuable to them in that activity, but can reward that participation in a decentralized way. Tokenization as that core incentive is what has allowed Web3 and the crypto space to grow aggressively. And we're really excited to see across different challenges, whether that's from a developer tooling perspective, from a legal contracts perspective, or from a DeFi perspective, as to how projects are going to be leveraging that innovation uh, for building their, their applications. Now, the second and no less important innovation is how projects can engage and embrace community. One of the beautiful things of the Web3 space is that whether you're a fan of an artist, you can now reach directly to that artist, whether it's buying a social token, a collectible of theirs, or if you're an actual participant in a decentralized network, you can influence the decision making of that protocol and how it gets built. There really is a direct connection between the communities of a product and how the product itself gets built. 
And that innovation is what's allowed so many new brands and musicians and creators to come to the space and say, how can I leverage this technology to better engage my community? So those two core features of Web3 and distributed applications, incentives and community are really what we'll look for being unlocked in the hackathon projects in new and exciting ways. Now, from our perspective, we don't want the hackathon to just be the end of your journeys. So not only are we excited to see all of the innovation that happens and provide grants and rewards for projects that build over the course of the hackathon, but we want to be a resource after the hackathon for follow-on grant funding, connections into the ecosystem. So you can take what you might start at this event and take it into your next full-time gig and really make something incredible. To support that, we're going to be hosting an investor pitch day uh, on the day following the conclusion of the hackathon at 8 a.m. Pacific time. We'll see investors like Outlier Ventures, GSR Ventures, Republic Capital, Galaxy Digital, and more be there and willing to listen to your product pitches as you complete the hackathon. The winners of each of the different prizes across the different uh, challenges will be invited to the pitch day and will each have about seven minutes in order to participate and present their project to these investors. We're hopeful that this is really going to be an ability to, to accelerate your time to market after the completion of the hackathon. So with that, I'll say good luck to all the builders out there. We cannot wait to see what innovations you come up with and can't wait to see the growth that you're going to be bringing to the Hedera ecosystem, both over the course of this hackathon and beyond. Good luck, everybody.